Hello, everyone. This is the second and last part of my Korean trip. Honestly, I was so busy that I didn't film as much as I wanted to. It was a whirlwind of a trip. This was my first day out of quarantine, and even though I had a full day ahead of me with filming lectures, I was pumped to be walking on Korean streets again. I chose to stay in a neighborhood I know well and that's convenient for riding the subway, Yeonamdong. I thought the cold weather would shock my system, but it was rather refreshing. Enjoying some cafe time before getting hair and makeup and filming. My second day was also a full filming day for lectures. I filmed a lecture series for a company called Udemy. Without hairspray, my bangs were flying everywhere in the windy weather. The studio was near one of my favorite areas, next to Cheonggyecheon. Another cafe pit stop before going to the studio. As a freelancer, it's been a while for me to see people going to work in the morning. I loved the bustling atmosphere. I took some time to reflect on my performance during the shoot the day before and thought about what I could do to be even better. Most importantly, I got some much needed caffeine into my veins. A water bottle with my name on it was waiting for me. How cute! I was on standby for a while before starting the shoot, so I contacted friends and family and set up plans for the next couple of days. Finally, some makeup after showing my bare face. One of my top priorities was going to the bookstore to see my books in person. When I left Korea, my first book hadn't been released yet, but now my first and second book are in stores. I fantasized that someone would recognize me as I was looking at my book, but no one did. My first proper meal of the day. I sat by a window and watched the rainy night while enjoying my pork cutlet. Today I'm going to meet some friends and family in my new cute hat, so I'm feeling nice. And it was really rainy yesterday, but today the weather looks like no rain, so I'm also really excited for that. And yeah, I'm going to go to the park and I get to see Hangang, and it's going to be an awesome day. Every night before sleeping, I looked up brunch cafes that I wanted to visit. This was one of them. It was a plant cafe, and the way the sunlight streamed through the windows washed away all of my fatigue. What beautiful weather. I came at the perfect time of year. So happy that I lucked out and got to see cherry blossoms. It's time for a cherry blossom break. My first full day to do whatever I want. I was so excited about what the day held for me as I got ready. I started off with a coffee and scone at a nearby cafe. Time for a walk. It was rainy, but not too cold. For lunch, I decided to get something I hadn't had for a long time. Sushi. This place had a really delicious and cheap lunch set. It came with udon. I was totally stuffed. I came to meet a new friend who works in the same industry. We talked for hours and realized we have a lot in common and have similar language teaching and learning ideologies.
Another day, another brunch cafe. I came to this place ages ago with a friend, and since it was nearby where I was staying, I decided to pop in for old time's sake. This wasn't a new camera technique, my phone just slid down. I caved and got a second coffee to make it through my last video shoot. Look out for more videos with cake in the future. My last day in Korea. Although it was three weeks, time flew by because I was so busy. The weather was perfect to enjoy before heading to the airport. I reflected on my trip and gave myself a pat on the back for all I accomplished. I also brainstormed plans for going back again soon. I felt sad that the trip was coming to an end and tried soaking up every last moment. I went all out for my last cafe visit. My puffy face was about to get puffier. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. This was a bread with dried oranges and nuts covered in sugar. My teeth ached after eating it, and my personal favorite, raisin bread. I'll be back again soon, Korea.